This video will cover using a DWG file or a DXF file to create a part. A DWG file is the standard AutoCAD drawing file with the .dwg file extension. A DXF file is an AutoCAD file with the .dxf file extension. DXF stands for Drawing Exchange Format or Drawing Interchange Format. You're likely to see both DWG and DXF file formats when you visit product vendor websites to download fasteners, tool fixtures, mechanical components, architectural components such as doors and windows, and many other items. The process of creating a part from a DWG or DXF file is the same as creating a part from scratch, except that you're just copying and pasting geometry from a different workspace to create your part sketch. Here are the steps for using a DWG or DXF file as a starting point for an Alibre part. Import the DWG or DXF into Alibre. You can find the import command under the Alibre gem, under the file menu, or on the quick access toolbar. All DWG and DXF files will open up in Alibre's 2D workspace. You will be presented with the Import DXF slash DWG file dialog. Select the units for the imported file. Check Maintain Projection to maintain the projection plane of the imported model in a Libre design. If this option is unchecked, the model will be projected onto the XY plane in a Libre design. Check Import Only Visible Layers to bring in only the visible layers from the original file. Any frozen or off layers will not be imported. If this option is not checked, all layers will be imported. This can clutter up the drawing and slow performance. Now click OK. The file opens in a drawing workspace. Enter into sketch mode to work with the imported figures as you would with any other 2D geometry on a drawing sheet. Explode any and all blocks. If there are any nested blocks, all of them need to be exploded. Highlight the items you want to copy by selecting them with any of the Libre selection methods. You can also use the Shift key to multi-select. Now copy the highlighted items to the Windows clipboard by selecting Copy from the ribbon, the Standard Toolbar, the Edit menu, or by just pressing Ctrl plus C as done here. At this point, the sketch figures are copied to the Windows clipboard. Enter into sketch mode in the part file to paste the items. Now paste the figures. If you use Ctrl plus V to paste these items, you may have to zoom in or out to see them since they're pasted relative to the origin. Zoom to fit in the view orientation group on the ribbon under the viewing and analysis tab works very well for this since it will zoom in or out automatically. So the pasted figures just fill the workspace. You could also use Ctrl plus T to paste the figures. This will allow you to place or stamp the entities wherever you click on the screen. Alibre will provide some assistance in aligning multiple copies if you need more than one copy. Analyze the sketch to make sure it is closed and there are no overlaps. Create the feature. In this case, we're working with an aluminum extrusion, so we're going to extrude this sketch. Now that the extrusion is completed, you can select a new face and paste geometry onto it to add features if needed. You can repeat this process by selecting and copying more figures from the 2D workspace. This video covered using a DWG file or DXF file to create a part. DWG and DXF are file formats you may encounter, especially if you need to swap CAD files between various CAD applications. Alibre allows you to create a part from a DWG or DXF file. Importing the DWG or DXF file into Alibre will create a 2D drawing file. You copy and paste from the 2D figures to build your 3D part sketch.